YouTubes. I just wanted to bring you guys a Halloween haul. The season's over. Got to put all the Halloween stuff away, but uh, now's a good time to go out and get the deal. So I've been creeping all over town, hitting up all the big stores that I can to see what I can pick up for next year for Halloween. So my first stop was Myers. I went there a couple days before Halloween ended because some of their stuff was already 50% off, um, some a little more. So I did pick up a purple and orange fire and ice light. This you can use outside. Um, these are normally like 16 bucks. I think I got this for 10. It wasn't a full, uh, I think it was only 33% off or something like that, but uh, you can use it outside. So I was happy to pick one of those up. You can never have too much lighting. Uh, Myers also had a really cool fortune teller kit. It's got all these little trinkets and scarves and bangles and coins because I might just do a, uh, a fortune teller build next year. So I put her in the corner and I got a purple dress already for her. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this was normally for 15 bucks, 14 99 I got that for 7 bucks. So I didn't think that was too bad of a deal. Uh, lastly at Meyer. I got a big runner. How long is this guy? Doesn't say. Okay, he's 72 inches long. He's got a nice spider web pattern on him. I thought these were really cool. Ross had some nice ones last year. But I thought this was really sharp. Look it on a table or on a dresser or on a bookshelf. I got plenty of books, so. That was all at Myers. Um, then I ran over to Spirit Halloween. At Spirit, everything was half price off the day after Halloween. Everything's 50% off. You just got to get there fast because all the animatronics are gone. Uh, the Haunter snatched the good stuff up. So I got this Ram Skull. It was normally, I think, $14.99. I got him for $7.50. I really don't even want the, the skull. I just want the horns. I'm going to cut these off and probably put them on a skeleton or something for uh, next year's haunt, I think. So for $7, bucks, can not beat a skull. It's pretty cool. I got some... Uh, I actually got two of these. These were $4.99, half price, fishing net. These will go on my Swamp Witch. Let's open this up and take a look at it. Oh, that's actually pretty long. I don't know what I thought. So these would only been $2.50. So that's pretty cool. I only light it up in the sun or bleach it if I want to. So I got two of these, so use that for the Swamp Witch next year. Those are pretty cool. What else I got Spirit? I bought two of these I thought were super cool. These are the Flaming Pumpkin Lights, which are five bucks. I get them for half price, so I got them for two fifty dollars each. I picked up two of them. Um, I hate going out at night and cutting off pumpkins and turning light switches off, so these guys kind of have that starburst pattern, like a fire and ice light. And they run for six hours and shut off. They run for four hours and shut off. So you set them, you walk away, and you're done. You don't have to worry about them the rest of the night. They do their own thing. So that I love. And there's a little screw hole here. You can screw it into a pumpkin or screw it into a base somewhere. But I think it'd just be fine if you set it in the pumpkin. Um, I got set of hooks, bloody hooks for my Reaper, my 13 foot Reaper. I built this year. I got a video on him. Um, these were, let's see, I think seven, 750, same as Ram Skull. I got a bunch of chains on my Grim Reaper. I thought these would be cool to add for next year. Do some more stuff on him and some upgrades. Hooks and chains for seven bucks, 750. Can't beat that. Then lastly from Spirit, most of the animatronics were gone when I got there, but I did pick up this Mummy Fogger. I saw him at the beginning of the season. I really liked him. He was like 80 bucks, and I'm like, eh, I'm not paying that. Uh, so when I went in, they had one left. So I got this guy for 40 bucks, and he is a fogger. You can plug your fog machine into him. So let's put him on the box, take a look. Hose, so that's kind of cool spirit. All right, spirit. Get some hose. And here he is. I did put some batteries on him, so let's turn them on. 
and his eyes glow kind of yellow, and he'll shoot fog out of his mouth. I mean, he's in some serious need of dry brushing, and then a couple of washes, because he's not got a lot of great color, but we'll fix that. But he's pretty cool. I dig him. So he'll be out in the graveyard next year. Got him away. Spirit wasn't bad. Uh, I'm screwing around Amazon, just looking at what kind of stuff they had, and I come across these I had had a set prior. These were only three dollars and forty cents at Amazon. So I bought mine a bunch for my skeletons. Free shipping, three forty. So you think you beat that deal? Chain's a little short, but yeah, for a profit, it'll be fine. Uh, I went to At Home. At Home's had a lot of cool stuff this year. Um, no, this is Ross. I went to Ross. I only found one thing at Ross because Ross constantly loads the shelf every week. They add new stuff. So you got to keep going back every week or two because Ross changes all their stuff up. They're awesome store. Great finds for Halloween. But I did get this little gargoyle for $13.99. He was already half price. He was $6.99. I got him for $6 because the lady marked him down for missing the battery cover, which I'm not going to use the battery cover anyways. I'm going to use him outside to put on top of a tombstone. And he'll sit outside. So I wasn't going to put batteries in him anyways. But for six bucks, I didn't think you could beat this guy at all. And I did go to At Home. Um, at Home's had a lot of good stuff this year. Their stuff is all 50% off or more. I got this for my daughter. He wants the dragon. It was 12 bucks, so I got him for $6.50, something like that. It wasn't too bad. I did get two awesome pillows. I thought these were super cool. I saw them at $20. I said I'm not paying $20 for them, so I got them for $10 a piece, half price again. So these were super cool. At Home's had a lot of cool patterns uh, the last couple of years. They've been going big on Halloween. I got a pair of those. Love that pattern. Uh, last thing I got at Home, was their creepy cloth. All half price. Starts at two bucks, got it for a dollar a piece. And I usually buy mine from the dollar store. Yeah. But for a dollar, you can't beat it. And it's actually 118 inches long. So that's like nine or 10 feet where the dollar store is only like six feet. So you get a little more cloth for cheaper the price. So I didn't feel that was too bad at all. But at home, I was really liking this year. Oh, Home Depot. I went to Home Depot uh, before Halloween, um, a couple days before Halloween, and they had already started marking their stuff down. A lot of their stuff was gone already. I looked online, and I did buy the uh, big seven-foot-tall white werewolf. I got him put away in the raptor, so I didn't bring him out. But I did buy another zombie groundbreaker. This guy was only $12.50, something like that. Um, his head lights up, but... I didn't really care for the lights, his eyes light up red. And I bought a spare one of he, him because his hands are awesome. This is what I use for my werewolf build. Um, and it make a great vampire hand too. It's got them long nails and long fingers, so I thought this was really cool. And for $12, you can't beat that. Plus, you get this big set of spare feet. How can you go wrong for $12.50? I should have bought like five of these things, but I only bought the one. Um, so Depot. I went and found, I think, four bucks. Another, again, battery operated lights on for six hours, off for 18. You can't beat it. You throw some batteries in, you stuff it in a pumpkin somewhere, don't even think about it. I ain't gotta go outside at night and turn everything off. You can just let it go. Um, Home Depot, I also picked up this bulb, the short circuit flicker bulb. Uh, I'm not sure how this will work. It looked cool in the store on the demo. Uh, this guy was like, I think, $2.89 on reduced price. So another one figure, well, plug it, put it away. I thought that was super cool. Good deal. I bought these zombie foggers, which I don't even know that I'll use as a fogger. I just thought they were, they had cool heads. Get some tubing, get some heads, and I may put these on a tombstone or put a face on a zombie or... 
I want to do something monster mug related. So these guys were super awesome for 10 bucks. I paid 10 for these and I saw them in the store day after Halloween for five bucks. So I kind of got jipped, but eh, five bucks, I got three heads to deal with. What can you do? So I really dug these guys. Then lastly at Home Depot, I'm not at all a Christmas person. This is Sacco and Steven show this, but I did pick this up and I paid like $8 for this thing. It just closed, but I like the shape because next year I'm going to use this for a build. I'm going to cut it apart, put an animatronic in it. So stay tuned if you want to see what I do with this big Christmas bulb. It ain't going to be Christmas related. Feed me, Seymour. Spirit did. That's the package. I got Home Depot. I got the zombie. And then today, my greatest coup by and far, I was at Sears today, and look at this. A full-size mannequin, $40. How can you beat that? And they got magnetic arms that pop off, magnetic ring. Boom, you got an arm. She's hollow, blow molded plastic. I can put a, a head on this thing. Put some clothes on it. It's got a metal base. This thing's already ready to go outside. Make a female mummy out of it. So I thought that was super awesome for $40. So if you've got a local Sears going out of business, you got to get over there and snatch these. My store has nine days left, and I couldn't pass that up for 40 bucks. And it's super lightweight, and it comes with a metal base. So I hope you guys get out there and get some deals. Um, I sure am out there creeping to see as much as I can get for next year. But that's everything. There she is in all her glory. $40 for a full size hollow mannequin with magnetic arms. But that is my haul, folks. I hope you guys dig it. I guys hope you guys are out there getting deals and scamming like I can and picking up stuff for next year because. Now we've got 364 days left until next Halloween, so I hope you guys dig it. Thanks for watching.